This is something that we've practiced for a while and we're willing to take a calculated risk on. Everybody, welcome to Commonwealth Flipper. Welcome to the Commonwealth Cabin. I've been threatening to do this video for a long time. I did one similar to this, but not with a traditional coffee mug earlier on when I was putting some videos out on, I think it was on the Picker channel, but I'm not sure. It might've been an early video on the Commonwealth Flipper channel. I think that's what it was actually, this channel. And so viewers have asked me over and over and over again, because they'll get a mug from us. They'll get one of these mugs over here and we ship them first class and most folks don't so you know when i talk about that kind of stuff people are like really you ship coffee mugs first class so i just want to clarify a couple things this is something that we've practiced for a while and we're willing to take a calculated risk on and i'm going to discuss the numbers a little bit as well as show you exactly how we do it first off i just want to say that these are replenishables right and we're paying you know it depends on which mug, but we're not paying an astronomical amount for these mugs. You know, these aren't $50 mugs that we're shipping out of here. These aren't collector's items or even some of the Starbucks mugs. They're just mugs that we have bought that viewers are buying from us. So, you know, we think they're valuable. But in reality, if something happens, we have an exact replica we can send out. So keep that in mind. And I do not suggest that you're going to send expensive mugs out this way. However, if you're selling a lot of coffee mugs, which some eBay sellers do, there's not a ton of money in them, but there's a little bit of money in them. I think the best way to do it, if they're under a certain dollar amount, is to take the risk and ship it out this way and to do it first class, because in the long run, it's gonna pay dividends. So normally you would see folks ship out coffee mugs and they would be in, I'll show you the box that typically people ship them in. So typically you're gonna see them shipped out in that box right there. Seven by seven by six box, or really technically eight by eight by seven. And sometimes you'll see people ship out in this box right here. I don't know if this is the four by, that's the five by five by five box. And then there's one more, if I can find it. I think this is the four by, well, maybe I got them backwards. No, yeah, that's the four by four by four box, I think. That one's five by five by five. And so you'll see them ship out in that. So early on, we started shipping mugs in these. And we would put bubble in them and put them in those. And you could get them just barely. Actually, I don't even think you put bubble in them. I can't remember. Just barely first class. And we had some breaks. And so we weren't going to do that. We did a drop test. I wish I could find that video. We did a drop test from my stairs outside. And we'd drop them in those things, and they would break every, you know, maybe every other drop. And so we decided we couldn't keep doing that first class, but I wanted to ship out first class. So we came up with a couple different methods, and we ended up settling on this one. But before I show you that method, and I'm going to videotape it for you, and you can watch it back if you ever decide to sell mugs this way, I just want to say this. There is a huge cost difference if you're selling tons and tons of mugs. So we've sold over 400 mugs. Now, technically the last maybe 300 we've done in this method and have only had, I wanna say one problem doing it exactly this way. And then one problem doing it somewhat similar to this. But for the most part, we have had zero breaks. Well, that's not true. We've had one break for sure doing it in this method. So let's just say 400 mugs and let's just run some numbers. Let's say you have four breaks in 400 mugs and that's all you have. And you're saving $2.50 per mug every single time you ship a mug. So, you know, I'm no mathematician here, but that's $1,000 in savings over time. Now that's give or take a little bit, obviously, but $1,000 in savings. Think of how many mugs you could break and that would be worth it. You know, I'm not going to do the math here, but y'all can do the math. And so let's just say, you know, we've had five breaks. Let's say we've had 10 breaks. So you got to replace the cost of the mug and the shipping. I mean, you're still making out over $900. Or in this case, what we're doing is we're charging a cheaper cost for the buyer, which means we're more likely to get sales. So at any rate, we're going to let's take a look at this. You can criticize if you like. It's all right. I can handle it. Last time I did a similar video, people criticized me as well. And I'm not saying that they're not going to break. As a matter of fact, 
I know after I've done this video, somebody's going to buy the mug and then break it <laughs> and then put it all over the place. But I guess we'll take a chance. All right, so first thing, four by four by four, five by five by five, two pieces of bubble wrap. And that's basically all you need. Well, I suppose you need a little bit of tape as well. All right, here we go. So the four by four by four, both supply hut. I'm pretty sure I have affiliate links to these if you need them. Pretty sure I do. Somewhere in the description down there. And of course we need to put our cards in there as well. And our stickers in there before we wrap these things up. Nothing terribly complicated here. It's basically the double box method. So if you've been doing eBay for some time, we double box all kinds of stuff just to keep it secure. So I decided that we would give it a shot here. Now I gotta give a little bit of a, a shout out here to Lonnie at Shed Flips. You know, he gave me some advice on it and he got me thinking about, you know, is it okay, is it acceptable to have a certain amount of breaks? And if it is, you know, how many would it take? And he got me on the path to doing the math on this and to doing the experiments on it. So I appreciate that. I know he had some breaks. You know, he sold an awful lot of mugs there, first edition and whatnot. So thank you to Lonnie on that. And I'm pretty pleased with this method. I mean, like I said, knock on wood, it has been, wow, close to 200 straight mugs with this method without one break. Now this four by four by four, it's a it's a snug fit. I mean, it even bulges up over it a little bit when you get that bubble wrap in there. Okay. All right, so we'll fold these back right here. I put the smooth side down on top of that right there, and just simply drop that in there. Just drop it in, and you've got a little bit of space with bubble there. It's just a double box method. It works wonderfully. Let me get some paper. I'll just take one big piece of paper off the roller over there and I'll divide it into two. I'll put just a tiny bit down here and we'll wrap it across. Put the other bit right here. Like that. And then I'll do the same thing going the other direction. Over there. There you go just got to get it under 16 and i realize the post office um needs it under 13 but when we're shipping out ebay or big cartel through pirate ship it does the trick so i'm liking it and just think of the savings over time